How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week one of our second season, and uh, we get to go on the road to Manhattan, Kansas, to play Kansas State. We'll see if we can do anything against the Wildcats. Uh, we're going to take a look, though, at some ESPN stuff before we get into everything. Take a look at our preseason polls and whatnot. Right off the bat, we've seen two. Alabama is our preseason number one, 97 overall, followed by Texas, who won the Natty against Alabama last year. Uh, Oklahoma, so back-to-back -back Big 12 schools. Then Clemson, Florida, Georgia, Texas A&M. That's a lot of SEC. Oregon is the highest Pac-12 team. You got North Carolina representing the second highest rated ACC team and then Oklahoma State to round out the top 10. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I just think all all around uh, a pretty strong uh, top 10 in the preseason. Uh, we're going to see a lot of these teams take losses as a lot of them are in the same conferences. Uh, Ohio State, USC, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Washington taking the next five spots. Nothing crazy or surprising yet. Auburn, South Carolina, Miami, Louisville, Cincinnati, Texas Tech, Northwestern, Tennessee, Iowa State, and Cal. Uh, rounding out the rest of the top 25. None of those are crazy. There isn't like some absurd uh, team up here in the rankings. So that's pretty interesting as we kind of just can scroll through. I think that we saw that we were ranked oh maybe higher than i thought 61 uh i don't know if we know or if we knew that or not but we are 61st in the country here in this preseason poll uh just behind baylor believe it or not uh, it's, uh see it's kind of interesting but down here uh, just in front of tulane and kentucky if we win this game against kansas state we're gonna be looking pretty solid but uh as it stands you know, I think that we're at a spot that we belong. We just need to get off to a, a decent start to this season. Uh, out of our first four games, one of them's a, a conference game. If we can win two of those, I would be pretty happy. But there's a very real chance that we start the season one and three. An interesting look here at our preseason Heisman watch. Brees Hall from uh, Iowa State leading the charge. Jarrett Patterson from Buffalo. Uh, there, Sam Howell, unsurprisingly there. Trevor Lawrence, apparently coming back for his senior season, unsurprisingly there. And then Tank Bigsby, um, the Auburn running back. This will be interesting. I expect uh, maybe the Buffalo running back to drop out at some point, but we'll see. We already know some of the preseason All-American stuff. Some of it's not surprising. Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. Panay Sewell comes back for Oregon. Uh, left tackle there. You know, nothing nothing too crazy. And then as we go down to the bottom, our boy Aaron Diggs, now a true sophomore, 71 overall, is the preseason All-American returner. Uh, did we have anybody second team? I don't think that we did. No, we don't. Um, and then all-conference, I believe that we should have some guys. Quarterback, surprisingly, Grace McCall, not really getting a nod there. We have Isaiah Likely at tight end. Uh, Gunter at the linebacker spot, Spill and Biscardi, and then Diggs uh, at strong safety, and then two special teams guys. Second team, highly gets up onto the list, so does Clark and Bush. So, uh, I expect to see more guys at the end of the season, uh, but let's just go ahead, take a look at our matchup here. Why am I struggling? Uh, we will take a look at our matchup, and then we'll go into the game, and let's do our recruiting after the game this time around uh kansas state b's across the board where b minus is across the board herb street's gonna go for them nothing else that we can really look at in terms of rankings i think that we started on the road last year wearing the whiteout jerseys um that might have been against what was it lsu we're gonna do that again this time against kansas state um uh, i think we'll just uh let's see what alternates do they have they do have those cool um scripted helmets that i like quite a bit so we'll go with that with the white pants and then we can see their 84 overall to our 81 slight edge on offense only one overall difference there but five overall better uh for the wildcats on defense i just hope that we can limit the number of picks that we throw this year uh if, if we can drop the turnovers down i think that we're gonna be in games more and then games that we win maybe it won't be so difficult this year uh-oh top players for kansas state 
a couple of linemen up there in the 90s, and then they drop into the high 80s. Well, Biscardia is our best player at kicker at 90, but then uh, high 80s for highly and likely. Curious to see how this goes for us. So we come in and let's go tails because at the start of the season, it's still not failing. We're going to elect to kick this one off and get this game underway. We can also see updated field stuff uh, for the most part for Kansas State here as Biscardi is going to boot this one away. And I got to imagine this should be, oh, wow, <laughs> another year with him. He's able to put those at the back of the end zone. We can do some interesting stuff on kickoffs now. We will come out to start this season in our cover three. They go five wide. And it looked like it was going to be a screen to go over the middle. And I think maybe uh, Ask just uh, <laughs> put that one into another man. A little pause there. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Asked. It's going to be very hard for me to enunciate the T at the end of his name. Uh, they're going to put it on the ground here. Should be no problem stopping the run. Please, no broken tackles. Getting a little bit of a stiff arm cheese there. It's third and four. And on this third down here, we're going to bring some pressure. They do go to the air. The blitz was there. And they get the pass off way too quick to Malik Knowles. Uh, just enough for the first down. All right. Well, you know, we did okay on that first uh, set of downs, but we need to do better. Gunter, diving tackle, misses another one. Mats gets slaughtered. And we finally knock out Deuce Vaughn. Dude, these guys get some funny names. Uh, not before he picks up a massive gain, though. All righty, first and 10 now across midfield. I don't know if I like the zone, but we're going to stick with it. Quarterback, plenty of pressure. We're going to run up and get the sack as he tried to scramble out of the pocket. But Ast is taken down second and 14 now. We've got them back to midfield on this play, expecting them to go to the air. They will. And oh my gosh, it's a wide open Knowles across the 20 inside the red zone. He's knocked out of bounds just inside the 10 for a quick first and 10 or first and goal for Kansas State. That was way too wide open. So the passing attack for Kansas State seems pretty solid to start this game. We're going to bring a blitz and get a stop on the run on that first down. And now from the same spot, second and goal, we're going to bring a little bit of a blitz. Let's see if we can stop this. Expecting a pass. The passing attack has been good. They hand it off up the middle. And we do get the stop, but Deuce Vaughn picks up nine. Third and goal right at the uh, goal line now. Well, I want to do what I can to stop this so our goal line package will come in on this third and goal, expecting this to be a run up the middle. They toss it out. And it's way too easy for Vaughn. He could have just gone on a leisurely stroll into the end zone to score there, but, uh, you know, he decides to get it done over or get it over with soon for us. I can't seem to talk today. Diggs, first return of the year. Gets it to the 20. Not very good. Last season... We gave the ball up way too many times. We're going to start with a run this year. First play from scrimmage for our offense. Actually goes pretty well. And Reese White uh, picks up a good seven yards. I got to make sure that I don't accidentally call him Marable at any point. But on second and three, he's going to get the call again. And up the middle, the blocking was not good. And then it became good. And then it was not good again. And we end up getting no gain on the play. And this might be a little bit risky. But on third and three, we're going to keep it on the ground here. As much as we can this drive. I don't want to throw a pick or our first possession. So we'll hand it off for Reese. He picks up the five yards and another first down. And now, hopefully, without jinxing myself, we're going to go play action pass on this first down. There it is, wide open. Bedgood? Aaron Bedgood, that's a new name for us. Comes down 21 yards. Gets us to midfield on the, the first throw of the season for Grayson McCall. That was a beautiful route and a beautiful catch. Little read option time now as we're at midfield, hoping to even this one up. Reese White got some great blocking and picks up nine yards on that option play. And oh my gosh, I just saw on the ticker tape uh, an upset. West Virginia, unranked, beats number one Alabama to open the season. Crazy as, oh, we just missed uh, Fountain on that one, third and one. That should have been us inside the red zone, but the play doesn't work. And now on third and one, we're going to hand this one off to Reese. Up the middle, running back's got it, and a little bit more. So already some upsets coming in this season. You love to see the number one team losing the quick slant to Fountain. Is open that time. 
And finally, we get Dion inside the red zone. And while this offense maybe isn't going to be as balanced as I would like it to be, well, as long as we're moving the ball and keeping possession, it'll work just fine. Picking up the block, cutting it north a little bit earlier than we want to, but still picking up positive yards. Reese White now up to 28 on his six carries. And we will look to the air from inside the 15. I don't see it. I don't see it. No, back over the middle. We do have Reese White. He's got the first and goal. Oh, the patience to find that one. Thankfully, we hadn't run too far away. And it will be seven yards now separating us from a touchdown. Can we get it? Especially on the ground. A great start on the ground. White fighting his way forward. Falls into the end zone. It's a tie game now. 51 seconds left in the first quarter. And there it is. 24 to 17. The Crimson Tide will fall to the Mountaineers to open up their season. We'll have Biscardi boot this one away, and I've placed it in a spot where they're forced to get the return. So I'm curious, can we get bad field position, or is this going to really bite us in the back? Oh, Joshua Youngblood, 28 yards on the return. Well, I wasn't a huge fan of the way that the 4-3 uh, worked on the first drive, so we're going to go in the nickel for a little bit, and they get two yards on first down through the air. And kind of expecting a run on this second and eight. We will actually see them go to the air. And oh my gosh, it's Knowles again. He is going to destroy us this game. I can already tell. Picks up, uh, what is that? His third or fourth reception of the game and another first down. Another first down. They're back at midfield. This will be a run to the edge. Can we get there? We can. Only giving up two yards on the run. So our running defense is pretty solid as we will come to the end of the first quarter. Uh, we just need to figure out a way to stop Knowles through the air. Uh, that, that wide receiver is way too open. Seven all as we head into the second quarter. We'll come out uh, back into the zone on second and eight to start this quarter. This is going to be a handoff out towards the edge. Gunter. Oh my gosh, I just, I just missed twice. Oh. I thought I had him for sure. Yikes. I was playing that so well up until the uh, the time to get the tackle came, and then uh, I just missed. Missed the second time, and they pick up a good first down, and through the air. Oh, ho, ho, we almost got there in time. They find Jax, Deneen, and pick up seven yards very quickly. On second down, this will be a handoff. Again, bouncing it to the edge goes Vaughn, and he's got himself inside the red zone now. 15-yard carry that time. Well, this one doesn't feel great for us. We're giving up a lot of yards very quickly, and there's going to be a first and goal inside the five. You know, I don't know where the defensive stop's going to come from, but we just got to hope that our offense can continue to match these guys. On first and goal, they will go to the air. Quarterback scrambling. Oh, really hoping he was going to fumble that one. Picked up a yard before getting taken down. Second and goal now. Absolutely expecting a run on this play. They do hand it off. And uh, Deuce Vaughn in again. Three-yard touchdown. Uh, Kansas State retakes the lead. And oh, the upsides continue. Number 13, Wisconsin loses to Maryland. 18-14. to Interesting to see... Uh, that matchup week one, but it is what it is. And I'm going to let Diggs bring this out of the end zone. We didn't give him a great chance on the first attempt. Uh, he didn't give him a great chance on that one. Starting this drive with a uh, long ways to go. There is 423 left in the half. I kind of want this drive to take the, the whole time. Uh, as we'll hand it off to Reese White for a couple of yards. We'll see if we can go to the air on this second and seven. Getting outside the pocket. Can we get it to highly in time? He holds on to it. Nice catch from Javon. Even through that massive hit. All right. Time to give it to Reese White again up the middle. Kind of cutting it around and picking up yards every time. That's, that's what matters. As long as we're getting a few here and there. Three and a half minutes now. We'll see if we can find our running back through the air. Or maybe we just go to Mobley as he gets out of bounds after a eight-yard reception. Seems like at this point in the game, the theme of it is uh, lack of defense. We'll see if maybe we can be the ones that uh, crack that our next time out. But we just got to make sure we score a touchdown here. And as we 
dip into the twos on the minute uh, counter. We're going to audible here and throw up a bomb. They're bringing pressure. Bad good. Oh, wow. Just couldn't get him to uh, try to catch that. With the pressure that they were showing and the blitz that they brought, I thought for sure that uh, we were going to have an easy time on that one, but it's not the case. And we'll give it to Reese White, who drops it. Fourth and five. I think we got to go for this. All right. This is big. Can we convert? I'm going to be rolling outside the pocket with McCall. Never mind. Just give it to Isaiah Likely and let him hold on to it. Pick up enough. Honestly, a little bit risky on the throw, but it gets the job done. Six of nine through the air for Grayson McCall now. No interceptions yet. And we're going to go read option on this one. Grayson keeping it. Oh my gosh, he got rocked. Oh, I thought maybe we could juke out the defensive back, but he just made us pay for that one. That was a hard hit. Definitely not something that uh, I enjoy having happen to my quarterback, but it happens now and then as Reese White will fall forward for four yards. And as we come to two minutes left in the half, we've got a third and three to convert. See if we can go to the air to convert this one as there's our man. Uh, Bed good holds on to it. Great job from Aaron. Another first down that'll stop the clock for now. And since we are inside the red zone with all of our timeouts, uh, we're going to continue to run a little bit. I'm not super worried about the clock yet. Anything that I can do just to make sure that we score with as little time left as possible is, is you know, crucial. Play action on second and nine. Will it work for us? The pressure's there. Getting rid of it, we find McFarland. Uh, he gets out of bounds, but it's a loss of a yard on that play. Third and nine. 45 seconds left. I don't know why the clock didn't stop since we went out of bounds. We go with the quick pass. We find Mobley, who gets the first and goal. That was a little bit weird. We'll take our first time out here. Only a few plays that we can run now before halftime. But I'm still not scared to run it. Inside the five, we give it to Reese White, who picks up a couple. We'll take our second time out now. And this is incredibly risky, but I'm looking for the screen. I don't think it's going to work. In fact, we're just going to scramble for it. McCall got a yard. Uh, we're going to go hurry up here. And just get a quick playoff if we can. That was that was a mistake on my part. Try to get this playoff as quick as possible. Kind of looking for Javon Hiley. Maybe Bed Good. Bed Good might be open. He is. He dropped it. Oh, he drops the touchdown pass. It's fourth and goal with 14 seconds to play. Well, we're going to risk it here. Read option. Fourth and goal from the three with 14 seconds. Either we score or get they get the ball. McCall's going to keep it, and Grayson's got the touchdown. Oh, thank goodness. I can't believe that we dropped the touchdown pass. Thankfully, we get it back, and it's back to a tie game. 11 seconds left, but Kansas State has all their timeouts. We're just going to make sure that they don't do anything crazy here, hopefully. And uh, they pick up a quick first down and do take a timeout. I here am expecting to see them go to the air now. Let's see if we can make them pay me. This would be a perfect time for an interception. They go. They find the running back. We hit him, and they take their second time out. All right. Expecting the Hail Mary. We're going to send everybody back just to protect here. The last thing we need to do is give up a touchdown as the clock expires. This is a great throw, and they come down with it and score. Phillip Brooks, the 55-yard touchdown Hail Mary to end the half. Kansas State is going to take a touchdown lead. What a throw. The second he released it, I felt like we were in trouble. Man comes down with it, and he falls into the end zone. That is brutal. That play could not have gone worse. And the extra point is good as well. So it's halftime. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to be a tie ball game with us getting the ball. Instead, we'll have to try to make up that deficit to start the third quarter. Let's hope for the best here. As Diggs maybe gets his first real chance at a return this season. Coming from uh, a good part of the end zone. So just getting past the 20. And, uh, special teams not cutting it so far. We'll see if we can have a nice long drive to open up this third quarter, though. All right. Reese White up the middle on the dive to open up the quarter. The blocking's decent. He's able to fall forward to gain a two. I just have a bad feeling about the momentum shift that that Hail Mary has created. 
Grayson McCall is going to keep the ball and slide down to give us a manageable third down. And I got to think that everywhere on the field at this point in the game, believe it or not, is four down territory. We will step back to throw. I hit the wrong button. Fountain catches it. He's wide open. Nobody near him inside the 15, the 10. Touchdown for Dion Fountain in Coastal Carolina. Just like that has tied it up 21 all. I have absolutely no idea how he came down with that. But that is a fantastic start to the half. Oh, I got to catch my breath after that play. Absolutely incredible. Seems like it came out of nowhere. And now it's time that, for the defense to step up as, uh, well, three guys are going to run into the running back who just goes down the field and picks up 33 yards. Where is the tackling? Oh my gosh. How do you have three defenders? And he just comes away like it's nothing. So far in this game, every single time we've done something good, uh, either offensively or defensively, it seems like Kansas State answers back immediately. On this second and seven, we'll hope maybe the defense can get a stop. This another run out towards the edge. And at least we get the tackle. We force the third down. This is either going to Knowles or Vaughn. They're going to step back to pass. Trying to cover. There's the sack. The defense has done it. Fourth and 11. I think Kansas State's going to have to punt this one away. The punt formation is what's shown to us. And if the defense gets this stop and the offense can do something, we will be in business. A returnable ball maybe for Diggs? No. Let's take the touchback. I'm not going to risk that. The return game has not been there so far today. So starting from the 20, we'll give Reese White the ball on the handoff and see what he can do picked up about a yard there you know i would honestly be fine with a field goal in this uh situation we don't need to be perfect we just need things to go well enough and i say likely quick 20 yard throw there we're just kind of finding the uh the gaps in their coverage and exploiting them right now one thing that has certainly helped that is the success of our running game we're doing just enough to, uh, you know, make them respect it, which will open up those passing lanes for us. And, you know, only two yards there, but we're doing it pretty consistently. We haven't really had to use McCall's legs a crazy amount either in this game. So that's useful as we find highly on a nice route. Uh, there's a quick 14 yards across midfield. We have had the ball for a majority of this third quarter so far. We'll go with the counter. The blocking seems to be there for the most part. Reese White getting to the edge. Oh, that block from our wide receiver out on the edge couldn't quite hold long enough, but a quick nine yards nonetheless. I am looking for the end zone on this second and one. We're going to get outside the pocket. Never mind. Got to give it to Isaiah Likely. <laughs> the tight end left his blocking assignment, although there's a flag. Holding. 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 It's Aaron Bedgood, the wide receiver, that gets called for it. Luckily for us on the holding, he was already 10 yards downfield. So basically, we're just replaying the down, and we're going to go with a quick little bubble screen here. See what we can do. Mobley. Oh, it's beautiful. The bubble screen works perfectly inside the 10. Nice shot from Tyson. We've got ourselves a first and goal. That was a fantastic bubble screen. I've never had it work that well. So now we can go ahead and hand this one off to Reese White again. Uh, in scoring position, I said I would be happy with a field goal, and that is still true. Good four-yard carry on first down. We might be in the fourth quarter by the time this drive ends. I would be lying if I said that wouldn't be fantastic. As the pitch, White just needs to reach the corner. Gets into the end zone. Oh, I didn't think he was going to make it there, but we take the lead now against Kansas State. So we come out on defense now. A lot of momentum on our side, hoping... That we can do enough here. First and 10. They're going to go to the air, which is makes sense. Passing game has worked the best for him, but they find uh, Nick Leonard's there for no gain. 30 seconds left. They're going to hand off out towards the edge. Spill him with the big truck hit there. And it's a loss of yardage. Third and 12. He looked like a freight train running into him as they're going to run this final play of the third quarter. Could we get the stop? They're actually going to hit it off out towards the edge. Porter is there. It's too easy of a stop. They lose another yard. It's fourth and 13. I got to say, what is Kansas State doing as we head into the fourth quarter? We have the lead. 28-21. And now we're about to get the ball back. 
So far, an absolutely fantastic game for us. Can we finish this one out on the road? Six minutes of game time left and a returnable punt for Aaron Diggs, who oh, isn't quite going to get the blocking that he needed. That was a good tackle. Fantastic field position off of the defense's hard work shows us uh, or sees us starting at the 40-yard line on this. The counter, we'll just get white north for uh, three yards there. I'm really wanting even just a field goal out of this drive as we'll give it back to Reese on the option. And, oh, that's, uh, that's a great run. 17 yards, close to 100 on the day for Reese now. And getting close to that field goal range. In fact, with Biscardi, we might be there. The last time that we ran this play action, it worked pretty well, except they're bringing pressure here. We're going to run the ball. I'm not going to run a play action into what is likely a blitz. I would rather give it to Reese White and not risk taking some weird sack. So if we do lose a yard, it is second 11, but I think that's the smart play. We can go to the air again here, and I'm throwing this to Hiley. Oh, never mind. The pressure got to us immediately. We get sacked third in a mile. Uh, honestly, I'm going to say probably good news that we got sacked because I think I was about to throw a pick. I don't think that there's a chance that this works. We're trying the play action anyways outside the pocket. And the patience. Eh, I, it just didn't work as well as I was hoping. Guys were coming open, but we didn't quite have long enough. 421 left in the uh, game here. We'll see what we can do with the punt. Can Biscardi cough and quarter him? That's awfully close. Please. No, that's going to be a touchback. Didn't have the right angle as it bounced. So these guys are going to get the ball at their own 20 to open up this drive. They're going to go with a screen. And that's going to lose them seven yards. Oh, we were all over that one. I got to say, our freshman defensive end, the surprise uh, commit for a Sidney McRae has been doing incredible. As he was all over that screen, and we give up 11, but we do have him in a third down here. The good news is, no matter what, we should be within a score if they do manage to do well on this drive, and they're going to throw that one away. Had his man open. Uh, I had to come up to watch the running back, and he just throws it over his head, so fourth down, we hold. And that means that the clock is going to be able to continue ticking uh, with the ball under our possession. Aaron Diggs is going to get another chance for a return. And we'll see if we can get something going here. First, oh my gosh, the first man, the gunner gets there and slows him down enough. So only a four yard return for Diggs. So we'll start this drive at the 31. And again, if we can just burn the clock out, we win. But a field goal would be fantastic. And that's a great way to start it. White with an eight yard carry. Maybe a little bit risky here. We're going to try the draw play. And that doesn't go anywhere. In fact, that's a loss of a yard. That uh, line couldn't quite hold there. Third and three. We'll go with the counter here on third down, except I'm going to get a little bit cheeky and bring Likely over as an extra blocker on that side. And no, chased down from behind by a linebacker. Reese White's going to lose three yards, and it's another fourth down. So it's a battle of the, the kickers or the punters at this point as they're going to actually take their first time out. 2.16 on the clock. See if we can put this one in a good spot. Looks like it might have a chance for a decent bounce. Oh my gosh, he feels it on the run. Youngblood gets them to the 45-yard line. What a return. That was an incredibly ballsy idea to field that, but it works out well as Kansas State has great field position. And Vaughn is going to pick up an instant first down to stop the clock. Not like this. Please don't let them score. I can't handle an overtime game right now. Man in motion. They will step back to pass. Both of those guys in my area. I couldn't do anything. And Oh, cool. Stream deck. Hey, well, if you guys were wondering, I do have a stream deck. And it's now trying to ruin our recording. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> That is the first time we've had uh, some sort of weird pop-up uh, make its way into the recording. <laughs> They're going to go to the air quickly here. Man, open. Oh, my gosh. How does he hold on to that? The safety makes a great hit. But Youngblood just balling out for this team right now. Holds on to that through the contact. First and 10. They are going to hand this one off. And we get the stop. The clock will be moving, but it's second and two. 
So we are at the point now where I'm about to start taking timeouts to save some clock for our offense. They go to the air. There's a man. Third and three. Uh, we're going to take the timeout. They will almost have to go for it if it comes down to uh, fourth down. This is a run. We're there with Porter. And there's the stop. Fourth and one. Kansas State now has to take a timeout. And I think they have to go for this. And this is incredibly risky, but we're bringing the entire house. Engage eight on this one. They go to the edge. And we get the stop. It's a turnover on downs. Kansas State has one timeout and 58 seconds on the clock. The defense is able to hold and short of a bad turnover. Reese White should be able to help run this one out. We're away from the danger of the end zone. Final timeout taken by the Wildcats. And with 53 seconds, we know they're bringing a lot of pressure. We just have to get this first down and it will be guaranteed over White. Awfully close. Third and two. I guess it doesn't matter. We take a knee here and it's GG's. So we are able to come out in the victory formation on the first game of the year. And Grayson McCall honestly had a very good game. Takes the knee. It's fourth and four, but it doesn't matter because we are up by a touchdown. And we will let this clock burn out for... Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Uh, for our first win of the season, we did so good. Big plays all over the place. And happened the defense coming up with a stand on fourth and one. Less than a minute to go inside the five-yard line. That was beautiful. Grayson McCall, player of the game. He deserved it. And, uh, man, after the Hail Mary uh, to close the first half, I thought this game was going to be a whole lot different. But the team was resilient. The defense did a good enough job in the second half. And the offense uh, honestly surprised me with how well they were able to get the job done. Well, that was a fantastic start to the season as we see number 10 Oklahoma State. Another upset to start the season. They lose to an unranked Florida State. But, uh, man, they barely outrushed us. We passed surprising well. 234 is good for us. Killed them on time of possession. And uh, at the end of the day, that stop uh, at the end of the game on fourth down wins it for us. Players of the game, Grayson McCall goes 13 of 18. Uh, two total touchdowns is surprising, but how about Jeffrey Gunter? Three tackles for loss and a sack. Pretty big. We do level up in the coaching department, which is fantastic because we haven't done our recruiting yet. So we're actually going to go ahead and give us uh, or give ourselves that level up. We'll go with the opener, get those extra points here from week one to, I believe it's seven. And we can go ahead and go in with our 5,500. And uh, we'll start by scouting, guys. So on the board, we see some guys that I'm hoping we'll see most of them go up. Um, you know, high 60s, low 70s is always going to be what we're aiming for. Um, so far, nothing too crazy. Will we find a gem? Alex Moore goes up to a 68 at free safety. I like that. And it doesn't seem all that impressive in the scouting department. Uh right off the bat but that's fine so now we'll just do uh kind of what we're what we're used to doing we'll go by uh our leads and we'll just try to pick up guys where we can so we have offered scholarships now to josh gunn frank bryant well all the guys that we have a lead with because they're all pretty solid uh, matt hodges is only 60 overall but the rest of them in that uh mid to high 60s range and now with the rest of our points um, I did take, like, a guy that was 58 overall off. With the rest of our points, we're going to start uh, just kind of dumping them into guys at the bottom of the board. Um, especially if they're good. If we see somebody who's bad, we'll take them off. But we're not too far behind a lot of these guys so far. I'm seeing guys in the 70s, the high 60s. So, overall, it seems like this might be worth it. Um, but I'm not sure if we'll go too crazy. Nick Cannon, for sure, will get some points. And with the remaining 450, we'll go Randy Fraser and I think Craig Morse. Uh, his acceleration is 68. That's just not going to cut it. So he's going to come off the board. And we'll see just if there's anybody else quickly that we want to take off. Um, Andre Williams is going to be one. I just think at this point, a 58 overall recruit is never going to see meaningful playing time. And won't do anything besides one of the bench. Charles Moore, we might need a quarterback in the future, but we should still have Grayson for another year. Um, so there's, there's no need for us to... You know, fish at the bottom of the barrel if we don't need to. 
So unfortunately, that does end up removing a few players from the board, but for the most part, we're looking pretty solid now. I have now also topped the board up back to 35 players. We'll scout them next week. Um, but let's go ahead and advance to the uh, Georgia uh, State game in week two, and then uh, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the craziness that happened in week one. So Georgia State lost their first game. Could mean something good for us. A quick preview. We won't go into it, but Herb Street's going to be backing our corner as I believe that he should. How about the top 25? Let's see the, the losses that were suffered. Um, we'll just scroll through. Oh my gosh, did Bama just get demolished here or what? They dropped down to 15. Uh, Oklahoma State, so 1 and 10 took some losses. So did 13 Wisconsin. And in the receiving votes, Washington was 15th, and they lost. And Northwestern at 22nd also lost. Um, no votes for us yet, but we'll get them, especially if we go into uh, our third and fourth games, 2-0, 2-1, something like that. That would look very good. Uh, who do we have to play first? Clemson and then Auburn. So, I mean, if we do okay against Clemson, and somehow managed to beat Auburn, I think that we'll be getting some votes. That being said, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, uh, man, that was a very fun game. I'm so happy that we didn't have any turnovers. That seems like a miracle for me. Maybe now we just need the defense to start getting some for us. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get too greedy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, we'll just try to focus on not giving the ball away first. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a ton. Oh my gosh, the support. It, it, I I know I say it in every episode, but it, it's just kind of ridiculous to me. Um, and I, I love that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it. Uh, if you're new here, or if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, it helps me out a ton. And it's uh, it's just a simple button click, you know? And if at the end of the day, you, you stop enjoying my content, which I, I, you know, it's hard for me to believe that that would ever happen. <laughs> you could always just uh, uh, unsubscribe in the future. But yeah, let me know uh, your thoughts on the game and uh, maybe hit the video with a like as well. And also feel free to head over to our Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster and drop us a follow there. Um, we're also on Twitter and Discord. Those links are down in the description below. But again, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.